Hello, Pack Talk Mode, DMC, Intercom Mode, Mobile Phone 1, connected. Good morning. A very, very quick ride this morning. Just to scrub in those little beauties. Michelin Road 4 GT. Oh, oh God. Not even out the estate and that wind's blowing a hooli. Those that aren't local, we're, um, we're right down on the south coast of the UK. A county called Dorset. I live in a town called Weymouth. And just off of Weymouth is an oil called Portland. It's about the same as uh, Portland, USA. Uh, the old cycle safety. Cycling proficiency test. Good to see that is. So, the Isle of Portland, that's where I grew up, although some say I've never grown up. It's, uh, it's ooh, slippy on the old manhole cover there. Connected to the mainland by a pebble and shingle bank called Chesil, Chesil Bank. And they do say that if uh, if Chesil wasn't there, then Weymouth, most of Weymouth wouldn't be here. Now these Road 4 tyres, they do like um, they do like to roll into the corners by the feel of them. It's very nice. Currently in this area, with all the COVID that's going on, um, we're still deemed as medium risk. So, it's pretty much life as normal with a mask on. As you can see by the traffic, uh, most people aren't staying in. It's uh, not unheard of certainly over the past years not so much now because they've uh, they've done a bit of flood relief work but the uh, the sea used to cut off the island um, it would uh, you'd have lots of spray coming over the top but the sea would actually come through the the, the pebble bank and the road itself be completely underwater screen down a little bit. What I don't want, I'm trying to keep the lens of the camera dry if I can. And there's the start of the beach road. Now you can see that orange windsock. I don't know if you can pick it up yet. And you can see it's almost at 90 degrees. Look. Oh yeah, I can feel the wind already. Here we go. We will lean in a minute. Round about night. There, oh, there it is. As I say, it's a strong wind, and you spend your life leaning the bike over. You're better off if you can carry a little bit of speed across here. There's the old uh, kite surfers. 2012 Olympics were held here in, in there and out into the wave of bay with all the sailing. Used to be a big um, naval base there on Portland. Back when that... God, that's windy. Back when that was there, I, uh, I drove a taxi. And um, most of your day and night would just be spent forward and back, Portland to Weymouth, Weymouth to Portland. With all the navy, uh, all the mantlows off the ships. 
not just British ones. Ships from all over the world. Let's get some speed going. having fun with his windsurfer, that on oh, no, a kite surfer. If you're into those uh, water sports, great place to do it. Just got to remember these tires. Uh, another place that will be blowy is uh, out on the road, out to the Portland Bill, out to the lighthouse. Not sure whether you can pick it out up there, right at the top. You can see a big stone archway. That's the entrance to the prison and all those humps. The, uh, the prison is actually in behind there. That now houses solely sex offenders. Uh, Rumour is rife that uh, Mr Glitter is in there, Gary Glitter. Paul Gad as his real name is. All of these little houses on the left, they were built to house all the Olympic sailing teams. And then uh, after the Olympics, they were all either sold or some were given a uh, social housing. Starting to climb up through the island now. This area is called Fortune's Well. And it's like the main road up through the island. You worked in the quarry, the stone firms where they mill the stones and um, finish the stone ready uh, places like St Paul's Cathedral, that's made of um, Portland stone. Uh, either that or it was fishing, of course the other big trade over here, certainly back then it's not so much now because uh, a couple of them are gone, was uh, to work in the prisons or the Young Offenders Institute's borstals back in that day. It's, um, we used to have the Vern as a prison, the Borstal for lads up to up to 18. Now then, just quickly, you will I remember, my old place and where I used to live on the left, Vesper Lodge. And, um, yeah, you had the Borstal, we also had a, a prison ship down in the harbour. The, uh, the prison then went to a immigration centre where people were held before they were deported or waiting to see if they were to be deported 
That has since gone back to the prison and as I say it's solely for sex offenders. Now then, here's my other place where I used to live. This on the left used to be a pub called the Mermaid. That now is one big house. About to get blowy again folks. channel off to your left. Oh, oh that's blowy. You'll get to see the sea a lot better in a minute. What a view that place has got. is known locally as the Bill Road, one that takes you out to Portland Bill. It's where the lighthouse is. But I guarantee we'll be blown about a bit along here. Cool, I'll say. area right here where you can see all of the uh, the rough water that's where some different tides all come in to meet known as the race it's a good bit of bass fishing off of there that's um, all the bass boats normally um, go out there what they'll do they'll let their lines out and then steam away from that area and then drift back in and uh, the lines are way out behind them they get into the race long before the boat does. So yeah, some good bass fishing to be had out there. Little alpacas. Right on cue, one of them was taking a shit. made the whole of this road 40 miles an hour. It used to be, uh, certainly when I started riding bikes, it used to be a bit of a racetrack out along here. Quite a few have lost their lives over the years out here. Believe me, you won't believe how big those waves are right there. When I was about 13, I think I was, 13, 14, 14 I think, went out with one of the local bass fishermen in a 13 foot clinker built boat, tiny little thing. Uh, I should have known better when his normal crew and his son, even his own son, said no, they weren't going out. I look at Pillock, I said, yeah, go on, then I'll go. And uh, he took us out in that. I thought we were going to die that day. Portland Bill Lighthouse. You can actually go up there. Off to there, yeah, off to the left there, there's something called Pulpit Rock. That's uh, quite a few people like to climb and I'm not moaning at anyone for doing that. 
Um, certainly when you're younger and, and not as wise, we used to jump off of it. Of course, you see all these accidents now that people have when they're tombstoning. And that in front is the old lighthouse. That's now a, uh, a bird observatory. That's the bird observatory. school on the left no longer a school they've uh, they've built themselves a super duper one and I would imagine that will all come down and be uh, built upon St George's Church a big uh, carving of stone of a stonemason there look. let's see if we can see down oh you got a little view This, this whole area of chisel floods. You get the wind and the tides in the in the right direction, it will still flood now. Very, very rare that it floods now though. Um, you can actually see it. It comes through that bank there on the left, and you can actually see it pouring down through that car park into the square here. You'll see some of the buildings here on the left, you'll see all the flood drains to so let the water come out underneath the buildings.